So uh, she, she can watch too. Okay, yeah. so that's a coral colony. Coral co and each one of these little holes had a coral polyp in it mm -hmm. with little tentacles that it waved around to get um, small things to eat. Mm -hmm. And that is part of a of a bigger colony. Who knows how big this hmm. maybe was? Yeah, and this too. Like I noticed on this, like you can see kind of the channels. Like oh, like this. Like it looks like right yeah. here there was like a, a something longer, like a stalk yeah, or yeah. A, well, you know these things. These they would when they when the polyp outgrew the place it was in in the stone, it would have to make uh, another. Uh, addition to its house, so mm. to speak, and uh, and so each each one of these would grow bigger and bigger and bigger, and, you, and some of that is evident here on the side. Hmm. Here, well, here's some of the innards. Right, did, right. Did, did she find it this way? Or did yeah, it was like that, oh, and um, we soaked it, and um, I mean, this is in someone's yard, mm -hmm. so who oh, knows but, where but, it was but, before that? Well. Yeah, it came from um, like if they a little farther north or of here, and the glacier just brought it down. And oh, wow. Okay. You. And what about, um, I just went, so these, this part right here, are those like roots, or are those like no, the, the inside of it? No, these are animals. Okay. Are oh, animals. okay. And so the, this is a side view of, yeah. of, the, uh, of the colony as it, as it grew. That was a structure that the little mm. colony... Okay. Taking lime material out of the water where it lived. Okay, and we we also were as we because we soaked it quite a bit because mm -hmm. there was a lot of dirt in it. Oh yeah. So mm -hmm. we would soak it and um, run water through it, mm -hmm. and uh, mm -hmm. so like there are holes in here that we'd put water in and it'd mm -hmm. run out the other side. Sure. So mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. yeah. So how is this fairly common? Is it unusual? Mm. This, this is a nice specimen to find around here. Mm -hmm. um, I wouldn't say it's rare, but it certainly isn't common either. Mm -hmm. It's just kind of, and then this one okay, good. Yeah. is a portion of, this is a coral colony, all those little guys in there. Mm -hmm. And this is a solitary coral, oh. and it's called a horn coral or a cup coral. Hmm. And the first one I ever found was in a dump on the corner of Collindale and Leonard Street. And there's a house built on top of it now. I wonder if they know they're on top of a dump. <laughs> um, and I found one, and it was shaped, it was about that big, and it was shaped exactly like a little goat horn. Hmm. And our neighbors raised goats. And so in my first rock collection in the fifth grade, my label for my little structure was... Uh, petrified goat's horn. And my fifth grade teacher, who knew a lot about geology, uh, set me straight on that. But it didn't come from a goat. It was a coral. But it, and this is, a, this is a side view. Mm -hmm. And you can see the little cells of growth here. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Hmm. And uh, this, this is up. And it would have been tapered down to a little point where it was attached to the ocean bottom. And then wherever it was in its growth, it would put its tentacles out, and just like these would all put their tentacles out mm -hmm. and uh, sweep for, for micro, micro food. I, I, I can't think right now the word I'm looking for. Whatever was floating by in the microscopic uh, mass of ocean water. Hmm. So these were both attached to an ocean floor. Yep. And then when the glaciers came through, they mm -hmm, picked them it, up and moved them. Well, I'm not we, sure where she got the smaller one. I know the bigger one came from mm, our yeah. came from the Genesin area. No, we've had we've had six invasions of salt or brackish water into the basin of Michigan over the years. And so um, that's how come these corals that we think associate with salt water were here when there was salt water here. Hmm. And that's very hard for a lot of people to, because they, they can't even think back to the glacier. A lot of, <laughs> a lot of my audiences, um, 
I gave a, a program on Michigan, Mitten Full of Riches, slide program, to uh, a senior group uh, over near Holland.